What's up guys? Today I just wanted to show you a neat little feature or a neat thing to use UltraBeat for. And that's a side chaining hub. Um, so let me just show you what I mean. If we first of all we need a kind of a pad so that we have something to sidechain. And we're gonna just find some simple pad here and let's try. Yeah. That's good. Let's use that. And let's record some. And we can open that. Delete that. <clears throat> We can uh, quantize it. We can shorten those. That's a force legato. It's a nice little, you can find it in here. Trim and uh, force legato. And you can see that I made my own, um, my own shortcut key command for that. You can do that under here, edit. Alt K, and you can just search Force Legato, and you can get it there. And you just learn by key label and you press the keys you want. But that's uh, quite a digression. Let's get back to business. And I also want to make these the same velocity just because I'm a neat freak. So operate, and they have now the same velocity 100. It's nice. Okay, let's listen to it. We can press C to engage cycle mode. Yeah, that's nice. Let me just adjust the volume of this instrument a little bit. It's very loud. So that's good. Okay, now that we have that, we need <clears throat> our side chaining hub. So I'm just going to go and find Ultra Beat Drum Synth multi output and uh find a ruby nam <laughs> there we go i need a short little sound like that so i'm just gonna press this is a kind of cool feature if you press this little triangle you can show in finder because this is where you load samples all right and this is a kit from the uh from the stock samples so if you press show in finder it'll show you the location of this particular um, sample and then you can just go back here and drum kits and drag and drop because i'm just going to use this same sample for all of these because we're never going to hear them anyways so let's just put those oh i'm going to choose two of them oh okay maybe i didn't Put it in there, and yeah, let's start with three, that's fine. But we also need to send them out to their separate outputs. And if you don't know how to do this, you can check out my uh, routing drums and logic tutorial. You'll find it on my uh, YouTube channel. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna open the mixer and make three of those, name them SC1 for sidechain. You can press tab to jump to the next channel, SC2, SC3. Now we have those. <clears throat> so the point is that these channels all need to go out to their separate channels, right? But we don't really want to hear them and they also need to be sent out to their, to, uh, their individual uh, buses so let's just send all of these to different buses we can use bus 10 because that's just my favorite <laughs> bus for side chains and I'll just 10, 11, and 12. That's, that's fine. 
And now that we have done that, you can see that they show up here, 10, 11, and 12. They won't be needing a output. So I'm just going to say no output. And then I'm also just going to delete them because we don't need to, we don't need them there. Delete anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, let's also send these out at unity gain. Oh, hang on. Wasn't it alt and, oh, of course I need to send them out to the, oh yeah, because forget it. You don't need to, because they're going out on the output. You don't need to send it. Sorry. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day, but <clears throat> yeah. Now these are going out to bus 10, 11, and 12, and they have no outputs. You can't even see them anymore. So if I go in here now in the ultra beat and press anything, you can see that sound is definitely coming out here. You just can't hear it. And it's also peaking. We don't like that, so I'm just going to turn them down a smidge just because I need to, but it doesn't really matter because we're never going to hear these anyway. But now that we've done that, you can put a compressor on your little pad. Let's just hear it and I'll put a compressor on it and I'll start. Um, or actually, let's just make this a little bit easier for everyone to see. So I'm just going to create tracks for these like that. And uh, another cool thing you can do, just as we've been digressing so much that I can do it again. We can, if you open this track drop down here, you can change the icon on the tracks. And uh, let's just go to other, and I'll put something. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that one for side chains. because it's nice to have a organized uh, project, okay? So these are now my three sidechain channels. And let's go in here again. And this is now the channel that's coming out on three and four, uh, hence the bus 10 sidechain track okay so what I want to do now is to just open the full view you can press in here and if you right click in here you can press add every downbeat so now it's it's just done that and uh, let's have a look at what it's what it's doing now okay I need to engage the sequencer so yeah you can see now how loud it is just gonna turn that down until it doesn't peak anymore. It's a little much. There we go. Beautiful. Let's do that to the rest of them while I'm at it. Like that. So now this is like pumping on the downbeat. And that's cool because now I can add a compressor here. And let's just do that. I haven't gotten used to this compressor line up here yet. <laughs> But if you do that, you get the compressor and you can turn the auto gain off because that's just going to make everything uh, nasty. <laughs> turn down the attack because you want the sidechain to hit immediately. Let's just give it some ratio and uh, yeah, you can turn that down a little bit. I actually like to use this vintage VCA for this. So, and I want that, of course, to get its sidechain signal from bus 10. So now let's just see what we got. I don't really know, but let's... It's very clicky. Starts clicking again. We don't really want to like that much. And we don't want any knee. Just going to try another one. Here we go. 
just to attack a little bit to just see if it's gonna get better or but it's clearly and the release is also important of course for the side chain and uh, here we go you can boost the gain a little bit if you want and now let's say that you wanted Let's just make a copy of this or no, let's make a new one just for the just for the sake of it. Software instruments create. Let's just close this down and uh, we'll add another EXS24 and find another simple pad that we can play with. So uh, synthesizers, pads and what's this? Sounds a lot like the other one. Yeah, let's try that. <clears throat> and I'll just copy this down and we can double click. Command A, Shift Alt up, and you can. And now we can get this one to listen to bus 11 and bus 11 isn't getting anything done yet because i probably forgot to put down beats here upbeat so now this is on the offbeat compared to the first one we made so this one is going to be compressed on the offbeat so let's put another Compressor on here. I want this to listen to bus 11. Yes. Turn down the attack a little bit. Up the ratio. Down the knee. Off with the auto gain. And uh, off with the auto release. Ease up a little bit. And this is a neat thing. You can click in here and then you can save as default. And now this is your default. Every time you open the compressor, this will be the setting. So that's kind of nice. So let's just see what's going on now. Hmm, nothing. Uh, is that because this one needs to be engaged? Yes. So now that you can see that it's, that it's, uh, I have to turn this down a little bit too, sorry. I can hear myself. Yeah. So now you can see that it's, compressing on the offbeat compared to this one. Of course, I need to engage this one too. Yeah. Sounds like shit, but it works. And that's how you do it. So, uh, yeah, Ultrabeat is cool. And it's a neat tool to use because of that little sequencer here. It's really easy. Now you can kind of you can just drag this out here if you wanted to, if you want it to be cool. And if you wanted to see what was going on, you could just delete these ones because this is side chain 11, right? So you can, yeah, you get the picture, right? So that was that for today. And uh, I'll see you around. Bye, guys.